Let's move on to the non-shared high availability configuration and try to configure that using the number of disks and data groups option. Have a look. You can't choose anything except for two-way and four-way mirrors. Why is this? This is due to the fact that these nodes are separated by distance. As such, in order to make the redundancy possible, one node has to replicate the other. We'll select a four-way mirror redundancy this time. As you can see, the number of disks in a data group will be automatically adjusted to the group redundancy level of our choice. Next, let's choose 10 data groups with four terabytes of single disk capacity. We can now see that the space efficiency is just 25%, but the expected annual Z-Pool reliability is at the highest level possible. This is based on the fact that in a mere redundancy, the space efficiency is going to be divided. The number it's divided by can range from two to four depending on the number of mirrors. To prove it, let's change the group redundancy level to a two-way mirror and see what happens. Have a look. Space efficiency has increased up to 50%. It's just simple math.